Silencio Bruno! Silencio Bruno! Can you still hear him? Nope, just you! Good! Now hang on! Andiamo! <gasps> The colorful Disney animated film Luca follows a young boy who balances the human and sea monster facets of his identity with a newfound friend. This coming of age story shows Luca learning to not let his fears prevent him from exploring the human world. The world is a very dangerous place, Luca. And if I have to send you to the bottom of the ocean to keep you safe, so be it. You don't know what it's like up there. I know you, and I know what's best for you. It's done. Much like Luca, who has been taught that the human world is a dangerous and prejudiced land, black people face the same dangers in many U.S. sundown towns. Sundown towns are all white counties that exclude minorities through the use of discriminatory laws, threats, or use of violence. The name derives from the posted and verbal warnings issued to black people that although they might be allowed to work or travel in a community during the daytime, they must leave by sundown. James Davis is a truck driver from a nearby town. He grew up knowing which towns to avoid stopping in while driving through. Some people, they might say it and the whole time they're thinking in the back of their mind, yeah, we're still sundown town. We don't like people of color here. <laughs> so, yeah. In 2017, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People issued a travel warning for the entire state of Missouri due to high levels of racism and violent attacks. While legally racial equality exists, minorities do not have the privilege to travel safely and freely as their white counterparts. Wow! Mmm! <gasps> Alberto, this is too dangerous. Let's get out of here. And, and go where? As Luca feels at risk in a town that displays the hunting of his kind, sundown towns are unwelcoming communities that put minorities at risk. For instance, black people in sundown towns are 75% more likely to be stopped and searched by the police. The movie Lovecraft Country, set in the 1950s, shows the reality for minorities when passing through sundown towns. Any of you all know what a sundown town is? Yes, sir, we do. Well, this is a sundown county. And if I had found you pissing in my woods like animals after dark, it would have been my sworn duty to hang every single one of you from them trees. It's not sundown. Although they are not as overtly as they were historically, sundown towns still pose a prominent threat to minorities across the United States.